So today Avery did a great job of um, flying the drone outside for the first time. She didn't lose it. She had one little crash. Like she drove it like a crazy person into the wall. And um, no, keep your feet out of things. People are weird with feet. And then uh, we got some snacks. So got her some dried up organic mango slices. A healthy treat instead of just peanut butter chocolate snacks. Yeah, you have your mommy's, you have your mommy's jeans, you crazy kid. I love you. I was very proud of you. You did very good today. So this is with a FPV drone. It's with a beginner drone that kind of helps you level it, but she's still steering it and everything. And basically, FPV is first person view. You're... At dr you're, there's this drone, and the drone sends the video signal by analog, so like the old TV signal everyone used to use. So there's a video transmitter on this drone, and it sends that signal to these goggles, and the goggles receive the signal, and you're wearing the goggles, like BR goggles, on your face. So then you're able to control the drone with a radio, and you get to see everything. So it's kind of like a little out-of-body experience. And I'm teaching Avery how to do it. And we're using a beginner drone that's designed specifically to help new people learn. And there's a company called Beta FPV, and they sent us a setup that has a radio, a goggles, and a drone. And it's all together is around like $300. I wouldn't recommend this for... Anyone that can kind of, like, pick up things quicker, they can get better stuff. And I'll have a better setup in the end of the video linked on how you can kind of learn with the best equipment. Because this stuff is really kind of um cheaper quality, so you'd end up outgrowing it really quickly. But this specific kit is actually really nice for someone that, like, is, like, beginner or beginner and is probably not going to be able to, like, get as good really quickly. Like, perhaps maybe a wife, a girlfriend, or a child. <laughs> I know that sounds terrible. And, um, there are some women that are excellent at flying these things, but there's some also that just are not able to get through the learning curve. You know, they're not that interested. But then being able to fly this thing that is, like, child-proof, it allows you to be able to enjoy flying for people that wouldn't be able to get past that learning curve. And my wife would just be a perfect example because she put it on and was able to fly it and have an enjoyable experience the first time. But if you were to give her an actual setup that's fully manually controlled, she would just have a terrible time and not be able to fly at all. And there's some men in this situation too, you know, but it's just... If you're more inclined to something like this and you want to do it, you're going to get better a lot faster. So this is basically to get anyone who wouldn't be into it at all. So how was your uh, drone flying outside for the first time? Good. Was it as scary as you thought it would be? No. You did pretty good. You flew it, it all the way around the field. So, it seems so easy. Did it seem... Oh, did look, someone's sneaking. Okay, but did it seem easier to do it... Um, Outside than inside? Yeah, outside. Oh, okay, weather. good. This weather is perfect. There's a little bit of beat to give me a push, and I did.